What's up, my boys? boys? Welcome to a very, very big and special day because today it is game, game day. day. That's why we are in Porto to watch the Porto and Benfica match. We're on second day in Porto. This is what we came for. We have been preparing all day for this night. We're drinking a little bit. In the spirit of a football <laughs> fan, we've been drinking all day. We're kind of tipsy. This is the most important match of the year. Porto and Benfica are quite literally fighting for the championship title. The winner of this match will most likely win the game. Porto has 57 points, Benfica has 56. On the 0 to 10 tension chart, this is a 10. A quick reminder, uh, we are neutral. We are not Porto fans, we're not Benfica fans because we have subscribers from all over the country. We don't want to piss either of you off. But Amelie, who's going to win? What's the result? Because we are going to bet. I would say that Porto is more likely to win because they usually win when they are playing um, here. So it's going to be 2-1 to Porto. But that's not neutral, Amelie. <laughs> Benfica's Porto. 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 Okay. Do you care about football? Yeah, I love football, but I'm, I'm Brazilian, I'm not Portuguese. So. Are you Brazilian? Oh, you're Brazilian? Yeah. How long have you been a Porto fan? Well, since I came over here, eight months. You're a new fan? Yeah. I'm... Do you hate Benfica? No, I don't hate. Okay. <laughs> I don't hate so we, we, it's not a true fan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate. Some, for example, in Brazil, I don't hate Argentina, for example, that's all big. Okay, but here in Portugal, they Porto don't respect Benfica. Benfica don't respect Porto. But I guess this is the the idea of sports, right? It's supposed to respect. There's no respect here. This is all about winning. This is like Braveheart, you know. So this is a Brazilian perspective on the game tonight, Definitely. and I think it's much more healthy than the than the Portuguese oh, because no, it's just sure. we want blood. The final result. 4-3. Four, 4-3? Three. Four, three. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds like an exciting match. A lot of goals, a lot of goals. No, Thank no. you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs> Ciao. Thank you. Cheers. Are we ready? So ready. Before we're heading out to this game, we just want to tell you that uh, the big guns cannot be brought. These are what we are going to film with today. Hey, how's the audio on this one? Is it okay? Last time it worked surprisingly well. We are in the Uber on the way to O Estadio de Dra Dragoa. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Dragao. Dragao? Estadio de Dragao. Yeah. There is a few interesting facts about uh, Porto and Benfica because these... How's the light? It's fine. It's Just fine. talk. Just act like you're sober. Just try. I've had so much alcohol today. Uh, this is how neutral I am. I'm drinking Corona. Let's talk about Porto because Porto is a very interesting football team. It's not for nothing they actually have a dedicated museum that is uh, one of uh, the main attractions of Porto. But Porto is a talent machine. Since 2004, Porto has sold uh, talent for over 600 million euros. No matter where in the world you are, they have the same Lo, 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 lo. There's no creativity when it comes to, um, to, to, to songs. <laughs> Football brings out the Neanderthal gene of, of the human species. Welcome to Estadio Blah <laughs> The Estadio the Drago. 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 Apparently this line is only for women. It's this very is so sexist. <laughs> and then all the men just have to wait here. This gives a pretty good image of the balance between men and women joining this uh, match. Why would they have a uh, women only entrance? We can already hear the bus of the stadium. <laughs> we are very close to the real deal. Corner. 
stadium here was actually built for a specific pur purpose back in 2004 when the championship, the Champions League was hosted here. I think it was the final. Something truly fascinating about the sheer hatred both teams show towards each other. I don't know if it's because of the importance of the match this time, but the atmosphere is much more exciting and loud this time than it was last time. Porto and Benfica is an incredibly close rivalry because they played 240 matches against each other and they played 29 draws. Benfica has only won 17 times here and Porto has only won 22 times in Benfica Stadium. The odds tonight is that Porto has the upper hand but They've been on fire lately. They just set a new record, winning a match 10 to 0, which is insane. And also last week they won 4 to nothing. We are 11 minutes into the game. It is very equal. Um, the atmosphere is uh, tremendous and it just, it's like being at a rock uh, concert and you just love every track. It's right on the corner. We're bidding 100 euros on 1-1. One, one. I have to say the atmosphere here is 10 out of 10. It is absolutely incredible. And I don't think that it's, it would be any less at Benfica Stadium. It would be the same. It's just that this match is so incredibly important for both teams. So everyone is just at, on the edge of the seat.
it over time. Very exciting match, very uh, close. I have no idea who's gonna win right at this point. I think 2-2 two, two or 1-2-2 two, two Porto. And that's not because I'm biased or anything, but I mean, they are playing home, and when you play home, you are usually better. Second half is on. Right now you can hear the Benfica fans louder than the actual Porto Stadium. It's funny how there is like an almost deafening silence on the Porto Rose right now. Everybody is just on the edge of the seat praying that they are gonna score We're getting super close to the end of this game and this is where football is most exciting in my world because this is where the team that's behind always gets extra momentum and just pushes the other team all the way to the bottom. I'm starting to become addicted to these uh, football matches. Portuguese football is insane. Yeah. back we are getting into uh, football the portuguese uh, football culture is uh, growing on us i i honestly think that it was amazing to experience and a match that is so important for both teams because then you really feel the passion yeah. we got to experience the biggest sport event of portugal 2019 possibly anyway guys thank you for watching uh subscribe and see you in the next vlog Tchau. Obrigado.